little parachute. Beat it, Spot. And go play with Grumpy. Hey, I sure am happy to see you, kids. Where am I, and uh, what in the heck was that? Uh, it's only a cell of vices. It's omnivorous. Much care where it goes to church. It sure has got bad manners. Hey, you all right? Well, I think so. My glad I got shooting in half at an embarrassing moment. Well, I guess I lost my bearings on the way down. I'm Will Marshall, and this is my sister, Holly. Beauregard Jackson of Fort Worth, Texas, at your service. Uh, our place is off this way. Uh, we'll be able to get there before dark. Uh, hey, I think we ought to get you down out of there. Oh, nothing to please me more, son. We live up there. Wouldn't it be easy to buy yourselves a house? Well, it saves us from grumpy. Hmm? Come on, Mr. Jackson. Dad? Did you bring anything home that's edible? <clears throat> Daddy. Dad, this is Beauregard Jackson of Fort Worth, Texas. He came down in a parachute. Uh, Mr. Jackson, this is my father, Rick Marshall. Yeah, Marshall? A parachute? <laughs> well, I guess you had a bit of bad luck, Mr. Jackson. Well, I don't think Mission Control is going to be quite that polite. But uh, if you'd be so kind as to point me to a telephone, I'd appreciate it. Well, the nearest telephone is light years away. This is another world, a closed universe. Uh, it's not quite like Earth. I mean, this place is filled with dinosaurs and monkey-like people that we call Pacuni. In fact, it was built by the ancestors of some giant insect-like creatures that we call Sleestacks. You from Texas? No, why? You sure do tell some mighty fine stories. <laughs> if you please help me to a phone, I'd appreciate it. Is that a dinosaur? Sure, I told you. That's Grumpy. Uh-huh. So there I was, making re-entry over Ecuador. The plasma field was building up over the heat shield, so I couldn't see too much of what was going on. Mr. Jackson, that didn't hmm? sound like any glider I've ever heard of. Well, sure, son. It was a hypersonic glider. Wow. Same as I've been flying for the past six years between Phoenix Port and Space Station 5. A spaceship? Well, not a real spaceship. I mean, these gliders don't go to other planets like the Pulse ships. They're fun to fly and safe enough. But this time, something cut the tail off my glider. Next thing I knew, I was hanging from my parachute in that tree. Wow. Uh, there's a radio in my capsule. Of course, it wouldn't do much good here, would it? Well, take you, for example. I mean, you must be from some time in our future. Where we come from, we don't have any space shuttles yet. I'm starting to feel awful lost. <laughs> don't worry about it, Bo. Tomorrow will be a better day. Why don't we hit the sack? I think I have an extra blanket for you. Hey, look, Mr. Jackson, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to strand you here. You little buzzard. So it was you. I always did want to visit another planet, but this is not what I had in mind. Hey, now, wait a minute. That thing is a doorway, isn't it? I mean, that, that's the thing I came through, and it's still open. Might be able to get back through it if we can get to it. You wouldn't mind getting back about 20 years after you started now, would you? Well, of course not. We just want to get back. Let me see. It's 50 to 60 meters up. Well, there's a lot of hills around here that are a lot higher. Maybe if it passes close enough to one of them, we could jump into it. Maybe we could make it do that. You mean fool around with a pylon again? You like it here, Marshal? I think the boy's right. I guess he is. All right, then let's find my survival kit. There's some things we're going to need. Monofilament line, binoculars, my parachute. Okay, this way. What I don't understand is why do you need your parachute? Yeah, you spent a half hour rolling it up. Notice the wind? Yeah. Yeah. My glider was 15 miles up and still moving at a half a mile a second when that thing grabbed me. The other side of that gateway is still moving through the Earth's atmosphere. 15 miles up, half a mile a second. Wow. That's where the wind is coming from because it's moving. And once I go through that gate, I can free fall all the way down to where I can breathe the air. But after that, I'm sure going to need my parachute. Wait a minute, Mr. Jackson. We don't have any parachutes for us to get back. I know, and I'm sorry about that. Once I get through and I get back to his ship, I promise I'm going to come back for you. Will, you want to show me where that's at? Such a pylon? Yeah. Hey, don't touch anything, though. Eventually, we'll have to. 
That gateway doesn't go near any high points except one, and that's a long way away. And maybe it does pass close enough. Let's see. What'd you say? I told you, you'd think I'd gone out of my mind. It's us! It's us on that hill. That hill's this hill, isn't it? It's like looking all the way around the world. You're not going to be able to help us, Mr. Jackson. Well, why not? I can fly a glider through that gateway. It'll be just like docking at a space station. The other side of that doorway is moving. The wind's pouring through it right into our side. And at a half mile per second, nobody can dock with that. If we don't close that doorway, sooner or later, that wind's going to turn into a hurricane. And it won't stop rising until all of the air in this valley is moving at a half a mile per second. Marshal, sometimes you're scarier than them dinosaurs. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. This is something else we haven't been able to figure out yet. Don't try to explain it to me, Mr. Marshall. I'm confused enough already. There's still air. And they're still signaling. It's the same thing. I thought you said they control the weather. Look, Marshall, all this is getting us nowhere. Now I gotta get out of here. Look, we'd like to too. We're just as anxious as you are. But there's nothing anyone can do as long as that one and only time doorway is acting as a it's a giant hurricane. Whether you have to slow it down or shut it down. You shut it down, you'll be cutting off my only way out. But would you rather be alive or dead, Mr. Jackson? That's a good question, Mr. Marshall. A man's got to do what he's got to do. Now, look, you're going to have to experiment in order to try to shut it down. In the process, I might be able to make it through. All right. You might have a chance, but just one chance, Jackson. Why don't be enough? All right, tell me what's happening outside. Take a lightning. What now? Nothing. Hey, wait a minute. You did something. That shimmer just took off like a bat out of Philadelphia. Hey, slow it down. Hey, see if you can make a turn. Got an angle toward the ground. Try to level it off, son. Get your eyes in a little. You still haven't made a turn yet. Dang, it's getting too far away. You did it. You turned. Watch out, it's going into the cliff. Chuck. It's below us. All right, Marsha, you made a turn to the right now. Now turn it to the left until I say whoa. That's it, it's coming right at us. If it isn't high enough, you can climb up in the pylon. If it isn't less now, it's strongest in the gate. That's the source of it. Marsha, get your kids out of here. Well, what about you? I'm going home. Good luck, Jackson. I had a farewell stop. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 